Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. Now in the last video we created the top view wireframe. In this video we're going to create the front view wireframe. Now generally when you're drawing in Bobcat, you're in our, uh, our active UCS is the, the top UCS. Now you can change your UCS or user coordinate system to change the plane that you're drawing on uh, very easily and you can also add a new UCS or rotate and modify and these can be very useful to change where you're drawing. In this example we want to go to the front UCS and then we're going to go to the front view and then we'll go to our layers and create a new layer. This is going to be front view wire frame and then we'll go ahead and change the color that we're drawing to this blue color and then we'll make that our active layer and turn off the other layer. Okay. So now from here we need to create some additional geometry. Uh, to start with, I am going to create a like a center line. So I'm going to do line coordinates, and this is going to be x60, and that will just draw a line on the screen. Uh, from here I'm going to do a parallel line, line parallel. This is going to be four millimeters in this direction and four millimeters in that direction. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to join this line from here to here, and then I want to do line parallel. This one's going to be, uh, I guess, 35 in this direction, and then we'll do this one's 58 in that direction, and then this one's 65 in this direction and I'll do one at 140 in this direction and then I want to do one at 23 in this direction okay so basically just drawing out some horizontal lines now what's going on here is I'm gonna trim I'm gonna trim this one to this one and then this one to uh, let me do that again let me do trim two from here to here alright so that gives me that side now what I want to do is let's see let me measure measure entity this one is 65 this one is 58 okay so let me trim these two. I'll trim this one to this one. Okay, and uh, 24. So let me do another one. Line parallel. This is 12. So we'll go from here to here. So what I have, what I have is I have a radius that uh, cuts through to this this level here and it cuts through from here now like you've seen in some of the other videos that I've done this radius is 20 if we go from here to here and there isn't enough room for that fillet it will swoop around the backside so that's what we see that's not what we want uh, the solution for that in a lot of cases is just to trim this line out and then create a fillet from here to here and now you can see there's room for the fillet so it's created but the problem is in this example the point you can see how this radius it's connected to this line but it's not starting at where that intersection was on this this line here so in order to do this what we're gonna do is a point at the intersection between here and here because that's where we want the radius to start from and then we're going to do arc fillet and we're going to say go from this line through to that point. So you can see when it went to the line it went to a tangency. When we pick the point then it fillets to that point. So that gives us that shape there. Uh, from here I can get rid of this line. I want to trim this up so here to here, here to here and that gives me that one side so we're gonna mirror this on the other side but what I need to do from here is just join up these lines line join and this gives me the the cutaway that I'm looking for on that shape there and then this other one here we're just gonna do mirror uh, copy we'll select this shape and then we can toggle through until we get to the side that we want we'll choose OK 
Now I'm going to select this and this and get rid of that. And that gives me my front view wireframe. That's all we needed to do. And uh, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll use both the top view and the front view wireframe, uh, creating some surfaces to uh, cut away and make our solid. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.